He spent his first years growing up in this mud hut, became the most popular president of Brazil, and is now in jail, convicted of corruption. But Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva could still run in October elections, and is even leading the early polling. Members of this farming community in the northeast say the leftist leader lifted them from poverty with his program of monthly cash payments for those in need. Quem prendeu ele não ter feito isso, porque Lula tirou a pobreza, a fome que os povos passavam, Lula tirou. Eu queria muito que ele fosse solto. E se ele voltasse para a presidência, eu voltava para ele. Nós todos aqui voltava para Lula. Se ele voltasse para a presidência de novo. Reviving the economy amid rising unemployment is high on the campaign agenda. And with 60,000 murders countrywide last year, so is security. In the soy farming town of Campo Verde, many are turning towards far-right politician Jair Bolsonaro. He's vowed to crack down on criminality and is running second in the polls. Esse estado de guerra civil que a gente vive nada mais é do que uma guerra mesmo que nós estamos vivendo. É... Entram na tua casa, na tua propriedade, na tua fazenda, no teu, no teu estabelecimento comercial, te roubam, te, te batem e esse bandido nada acontece com ele. More traditional candidates like former São Paulo governor Geraldo Alckmin is seen as safer when it comes to managing the economy. But he would lose votes even in his home city, if he was ever found guilty of graft. Se eu descobrir qualquer coisa que de, de desonesto, eu não voto nele, de jeito nenhum. E ainda estou analisando, ainda estou pesquisando, ainda estou estudando, estou pesquisando na internet para ver, porque, puxa, já sofremos demais, somos um povo muito sofrido. Ultimately, it will be the country's giant new middle class that decides the result. They may have risen up under Lula, but for many, corruption and crime have become a red line.